I train great fighters, Mike McCollum, Ayub Kalule, you know, the, the Hilton brothers, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, Bramble. I could go on all day with you. That's right. These were great fighters, you know, but today is entertainment. Today is who land first and who really got to want to be a conqueror. There is no conquerors out there today. Everybody come for the money. But I think I have one here. I think I got a, a conqueror with, with my man here, Eric. Because so far, you want to see blood. He's a Viking. You understand? So I put all my faith in him. I don't put my faith in fighters, but I give you one, I give you one, a, a one more shot. Well, uh, I don't like to talk much about it because every day this thing is on my mind, you know what I'm saying? It's sad what happened to the kid, you know, that he drove off a cliff and, uh, you know, and was intoxicated. But uh, I know what the family is going through because I'm going through, I lost my father behind my incarceration. My father died from a heart attack when I got sentenced. Nobody know about that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, people will always talk about me, some good and some bad. They talk about God bad, and he's God. I'm not God. I'm, I'm the son of God. You know, so in life, you got to move, 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 move on in life. You know, but uh, the thing is, I believe in God, like everybody should be, I believe in the Almighty. You know, and one day, I will rise again. Because, you know, until this day, I always send my remorse to, to the Billy Collins family. Because I, I lost a loved one too. My, me and my father was very close. He was my best friend. You know, so I try my best. I feel sorry for, for Resto, you know, because he, he was the fighter and, in, and, and they took away his license and all that. You know what I'm saying? So this, this is America. I don't believe in no ban for life business. You know what I'm saying? This, this is America. All I got to say is, is in the hands of God. And I feel, and my remorse goes out to Collins family, like it, it goes out to Resto family, you understand? I, and, and to my family, I owe them a lot. My kids didn't get what they were supposed to get in life because of my situation. But hey, you got to believe in God and keep, and you got to keep the faith, you know? Because like I say, this is America. America, they always give a man a second chance, you understand? But is more politics than anything else. It was on a HBO special, you know, prior Aguayo in the corner, you saying, uh, you know, get the bottle I mix. So the question really, uh, the question has always been asked, what was in the bottle? You know? Oh, top water and perrier water mixed together. I had it on ice, very cold. When you drink that, it just open up your, your breathing, you understand? It wasn't no drugs or nothing. Right. It's things out the counter, you know. The battle didn't win the fight. Instruction won the fight. And the fighter was in the best shape of his life. Nobody could have beat no Iron Pryor. He's the best 140 pound that I ever did it. It was hawk time. When, when Pryor fight, everybody run home to watch it. Mario. Yeah. Without Mario, there's no Panama Lewis. That's the man that bailed me out of prison. That's the man that had my prison book. I was one of the, 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 the richest inmates in there. My bank account every month was four or five thousand dollars. You understand? So when I came out of jail, he gave me a brand new Benz. Which, a rich guy can do that? You understand? So Mario is the godfather for four of my kids. Okay? So he's not only a friend, is my family. He baptized four of my kids. He gave me a gym in Jersey City near Ringside. He's still there today. Mm -hmm. Took care of my family. The gym near the Ringside Bar? Is that the one? Like, yeah, that's my gym. Mm -hmm. That's my gym. Mario, he owns the building, but he gave me the gym. He's a great man. I almost blew. I got to give Praise and thanks for my next man like Mario Costa, a man named Scott Hurst. He's a great man, in the same without him, I don't know where we, I will be today living. But when I lost the, the, the Bajonos, Scott came to the rescue. I'm still driving my car, thanks to Scott. 
thanks to God for leading me you know, have, and keeping the faith. So I give thanks where he deserves to Mr. Scott Hirsch. And I hopefully will give him a lot of champions in return. Scott, great man. All I can say about Scott, nothing but good because he's the one that have me living the way I'm living now. Thank God I got my apartment called the Scott. God bless him. Is there anything you'd like to say in closing? Oh yeah, I want to wish everybody a good year, you know, and uh, hopefully that will bring back the troops home, you know what I'm saying? And uh, God bless everybody that's been to, to the war, so-called war, you know, and as a veteran, I'd like to see everybody back because the Vietnam War was the same thing, but they gave up because too many people died, you understand? Know so I believe in peace. You're fighting for nothing. There's no winner in that war. No winner. Trust me. All right? So my condolence goes out to the family that lost the ones fighting for this country. God bless America. Wish you all the best. And always put God first. Put God first in your life. One love to you, Rastafari, Panama Lewis. Peace out.